Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you quickly how you can set the origin of an object inside of Blender. So you can see when you have your object selected, in object mode, there'll be a little orange dot. For the default cube, that's in the center for all three axes, X, Y, and Z. So in some cases this can be fine. If you hit S to scale your object, you'll see that it scales equally in all directions. That might be what you want. But if instead you're trying to scale in one direction, so if I did S and then Z to scale in the Y axis, you can see it's still going in both directions. So if we wanted it to go straight up when we scale, then we'd need to change the origin point. So if I hit tab to go into edit mode, we can pick out a spot where that origin point is going to rest. So you can either use vertex select mode and left click on a vertice, and then you can do shift S and then cursor to selected to pick out a point which we'll set later as the origin or you could use face select mode. So if we use face select mode and I click on the bottom face and then we do shift S cursor to selected, then it's going to be in the middle of this face. So if we were building something like a tree where we wanted it to scale only upwards for the Z axis, but in the X, Y axis, we wanted it to scale equally, then this would be where we would wanna actually set it. So wherever you do choose to set your origin point is going to affect the scaling and rotations for your object. So now that we have the cursor set, we can hit tab to go back into object mode, and then you go to the object menu up here, and then set origin, do origin to 3D cursor. And now you can see that the orange point for your object has been set. So the origin has been changed for this object. So now if I hit S and then Z to scale it in the Z axis, once again, you can see it's only scaling in one direction because the origin for the Z axis is now on the bottom of our object. But if we do scale X, then it's still scaling in both directions equally, as well as scale Y. If instead you wanted it to scale in one direction for all axes, then you'd wanna choose one of the vertices points at the edge. So I could click down here, do Shift S, cursor to selected to put the cursor there, tab to go into edit mode, object, set transform, and then do origin to 3D cursor. So now if I hit S to scale the object, and we're just scaling all axes at the same time, you can see that for X, Y, and Z, it's now scaling in only one direction at a time. And if I are to go into rotation mode, you can also see that this affects the rotation as the object rotates specifically around the origin point. So if I do rotation on Z by hitting Z, then you can see it's still rotating around that origin point. If you ever want to reset the origin point back to the default for an object, you can go to object set origin and then do origin to geometry, which is just gonna put it in the middle of your mesh. Alternatively, if you wanna move the mesh to the origin point, putting the entire mesh in the center here, but moving the mesh instead of the origin, you can do object set origin, geometry to origin, which basically gets you the same result, except that now it's moved in terms of its position in the world space. So that's pretty much it for setting the origin of your objects inside of Blender. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.